Hare Krishna, my name is Kaivalya Sundari Devi Dasi. I live here at New Taliban Dam in Mississippi, USA. And um, 30 years ago, I was asked to start making the ghee wicks, and I had no idea what to do, and nobody could show me. They also said they didn't know how to make them. So I had to go on um, experimenting until I came to what I think is a perfect ghee wick, but I mean, there's many ways to do it. Uh, many, many people have their own version. So this is what I've come up with and at what works for our temple. And I would like to get on with this tutorial of how to make a ghee wick. So um, you, you take cotton like this and you make it into a tight ball like that. Maybe even bigger than that. And then you take another piece and you spread out the cotton and just fold it up with the top. All the cotton's here, but you need to get rid of most of that and just pull it up so you can make like a thin little wisp. So at this point, I use a little ghee in my fingers and start wrapping it really tight so that ball is stuck in there that's what you want you don't want anything flimsy so then with the cotton you just grab little pieces and twirl it until you get the desired size some temples may have very few people and you don't have to make such big ones but this is kind of an average I would say ghee wick then you can in, um, little by little you could be adding it making it a little longer making it a little stronger however you want so when I feel that I've, I'm finished when you go like this it should sort of make a noise like Right here, it's not filled with air, it's filled with cotton. And when you go to dip the ghee wick, I will show you how to dip the ghee wick now. You take the ghee, usually I'm dipping um, like about 20 at a time, but this is just for the video that I'm showing you, just one ghee wick. And then, when it's soaked up, you just kind of get just twirling it a little, you get the excess ghee off, so you don't waste ghee. And then I press it down so that when you put it on the ghee lamp, it doesn't roll off. So that's the system. Um, I can go through it one more time if you like. So once again, we make our tight ball. We make a little blanket or something but it's thin it's not too thick and put it in there wrap it around got all that so you pull it up and just gently kind of stretch it out from there you just twist it really well and then you take a little ghee and twist it when you twist it you let go of this hand now Again, a lot of times if the ghee wick doesn't feel steady, if it feels like it's gonna fall apart, you might have to start over. I have to do that sometimes. But you can strengthen it by putting ghee and cotton right where the, the stick part and the ball meet. So there, uh, you could make them smaller like for uh, home deities, you might want to make really tiny ones. I could make you an example of a tiny one if you like. You just take just a tiny, tiny little piece of cotton and then a tiny little covering. Pull it up, twist it around. And of course at home deities, it doesn't have to burn forever. So you don't want to waste uh, cotton and waste ghee, but you still have a great ghee wick right here. So, uh, when you get pretty good at this, you can make a ghee wick in under a minute. And then 
Later on is when I usually dip the gewurz after I get a bunch. Okay, well, thank you very much for tuning in to how to make a gewurz. Hare Krishna.